Today on our 2015 Honda Fit, we're going to review and install the Draw Tight Class 1 1 quarter inch receiver tube hitch, part number 24920. Now, here's what our hitch is going to look like once it's installed. We've got our nice, stylish, round cross tube design, it brings into our fully welded construction and a nice black powder coated finish. On either side of our receiver tube is our chain hold down and our pre-drilled half inch pinhole. This receiver tube is a one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch class one. It's capable of up to 200 pounds of tongue weight and a 2,000 pound tow capacity. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is three inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening down to the ground is 10 inches. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. We'll now go ahead and show you the minimum tools required for installing the hitch. We've got our 11 16 socket, our three inch extension just to make it a little easier, our ratchet for tightening down our fasteners, and our torque wrench. Now let's go ahead and show you how to install the hitch. To begin our install, we need to go ahead and lower the exhaust. To lower our exhaust, we're going to remove the two rubber isolators from the metal hangers on the muffler. To remove the rubber isolators from the metal hanger, we'll first spray each one with a spray lubricant. And then use our pry bar pliers to slide the rubber isolator off of the metal hanger. Allow our exhaust muffler to come down and exposes our frame rail and our attachment point. Here on the driver's side, we're going to have two attachment points starting at the end of the frame rail, a large round hole just like on the passenger side, and then the smaller hole just in front of it. Now we have a total of three attachment points. Each attachment point is going to get a 7 16 carriage bolt. But here on the passenger side, we want to make sure we use the shorter of the three carriage bolts. The carriage bolt is one and a quarter inches long. And the two 7 16 by one and a half inch carriage bolts get used on the driver's side. Also going into the frame to create our attachment point with our carriage bolt will be our spacer block. Once in the frame, the carriage bolt will engage the spacer block and create our attachment point. Once our hitch is in position, we'll then secure it with a 7 16 conical tooth washer. The teeth of the washer will face the hitch and a 7 16 hex nut. Now to get our hardware into the frame, we're going to use a 7 16 pull wire or bolt leader that's supplied with the install kit. Using the reverse pull method, we'll take the spacer block and slide it onto the bolt leader. We'll then take the carriage bolt thread it into the end of the bolt leader, feed it into the frame first. Once the carriage bolt's in, we'll follow it with the block, and then use the bolt leader to pull the carriage bolt back down through the block and into position. I'll go ahead and leave the bolt leader attached as it will help with getting our hitch up into position without putting the hardware back into the frame. Now here on the driver's side, the process will be the exact same for the rear attachment point, but our forward attachment point will get fed through the access hole of the rear attachment point. So we're going to put our forward hardware in place first. We'll take the pull wire, feed it into the attachment point, and then out the access hole. There we'll slide on our block, thread on the carriage bolt. I'll feed the block into the frame first, followed by the carriage bolt, and use our bolt leader to pull them into place. Now before the hitch is installed here on the driver's side, we're going to add a spacer block to compensate for the manufacturer's plastic. The spacer block 
we'll get sandwiched between our hitch and the frame. We'll have one for both attachment points here on the driver's side. Now to make it easier to get our spacer block installed, we're gonna go ahead and tape it to the attachment point on the hitch. Now to tape them to the hitch, we can simply take the block, set it over the attachment point, and then I'm just gonna use a piece of electrical tape here to hold it in place until the hitch is in position. All right, now we're ready to put our hitch in place. All right, now as I put the hitch in place, just set the passenger side up on top of the exhaust. And come over to the driver's side. Take our bolt leaders, feed them through the spacer block, down through the hitch attachment point. So we can bring it up to the frame. And once in position, I can go ahead and remove the bolt leader and install the conical tooth washer and nut. Now once I get the first one started here on the driver's side, I'll move over to the passenger side and get that one going. We're just repeating the same basic process, putting our pull wire through the hitch attachment point, bringing our hitch up tight to the frame, and then removing the pull wire. Note if we put a little side pressure on our conical tooth washer, it'll help hold the carriage bolt in position while we install the nut. We'll just install each fastener finger tight until we have them all in place. All right, I'll just move back over here to the driver's side, move the second bolt leader, slide my conical tooth washer on, and the nut. Now that our frame hardware is in place, we install the U-bolt into the tow hook. Our U-bolt is going to go down over the tow hook and through the hitch center attachment point. Securing the U-bolt on each side is going to be a flat washer, split lock washer, and then a nut. Now once all our hardware is in place, we can go ahead and tighten it down. Keep in mind as we tighten down the U-bolt, we want to make sure we tighten down both sides evenly. Now once we have all our fasteners tightened down, we can go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in the instructions. All right, now with all our fasteners tightened down, torque specifications, we'll go ahead and reinstall the exhaust. Now with our hitch installed, tightened down, and secured, we're ready to hit the road. And that'll do it for the review and install of the Draw-Tight Class 1 one quarter receiver tube hitch, part number 24920 on our 2015 Honda Fit.